LGBTQ plus people often face multiple barriers when seeking preventative care. They have lower rates of health insurance and higher rates of poverty and homelessness when compared to their non-LGBTQ plus counterparts. They also face barriers when it comes to isolation, discrimination, lack of social services, lack of appropriate health care by healthcare providers. Many have noted previous negative experiences with healthcare providers that really prevent them from seeking the preventative care they need. In terms of resources, there are a few LGBTQ plus dedicated health centers around the state. There is the Proud Center in Somerville. The VNA does run one out of Asbury Park. There are some all over the state. It really just takes more time and effort to find these. It's not as simple as just walking into an urgent care and hoping to get appropriate health care. There's also some online resources. If you go to the Pride Center of New Jersey, there's a great directory. There's Garden State Equality, PFLAG, the Human Rights Campaign, and the Trevor Project, just to name a few. As I mentioned before, LGBTQ plus people face a fear of mistreatment and discrimination in the healthcare setting, which will cause them to either delay or forego medical treatment. And as we know in cancer prevention, that early detection and that early prevention resources are really crucial. And so if someone is delaying that care or just not going because they're afraid of being mistreated, it would really cause them to either develop a cancer that may go undetected or won't be detected until a later stage, which then becomes harder to treat. So if you have those medical providers that are trained in that competency, it'll make the LGBTQ plus community feel more comfortable in seeking these services. And we actually offer LGBTQ plus competency training here at the Cancer Institute.